This is a Queen Mary's College video for the um, Applied Science course, the Biology Unit G622. So if you can have your knowledge pack to hand to um, highlight the key points, we're going to be looking at pulse rate, the measurement of that, and blood pressure. Just to remind you of the uh, typical blood pressure values, which again you should have highlighted. Typical 18 year old, 120 over 80 millimeters of mercury. Notice that all the values are over 80 for the 18 and the 20 year olds. So male, age 20, 125 over 80. And female, just 123, all over 80, as you can see. A little bit older, the male age 40, both numbers go right up, both numbers over 85. The male 135 and the female 133. A little bit of extra information about this stethoscope, obviously there to listen to sounds from the heart, in fact that's the uh, the shutting, the slapping shut and opening of the heart valves. Particular sounds lub when the uh, AV, the atrioventricular valves, tricuspid or bicuspid, open and shut, and the uh, dub sound for the semilunar valves. So let's start with the pulse rate, obviously, a measure of the heart rate. What we're hearing, what we're measuring rather, is the stretching of the artery. So every time the heart contracts, the systole, a surge of blood is released, and that force of the blood against the wall of the aorta passes along to the other arteries, and we can detect that. So it's the stretching of the uh, very elastic blood vessels that were. Um, measuring. So when that surge of blood pushes against the skin, that's the, uh, the pulse. Very good indicators of fitness. So the procedure we need to remember, place the index and middle finger over the um, opposite wrist. Press firmly until you feel the, the pulse, in fact, in the radial artery. And just count the uh, heartbeats over a fixed period. We need to remember the range 60 to 80 beats per minute. So here we have the Spigmo manometer. That name we need to remember. That's the equipment to measure blood pressure. There's two types. We'll take a look at the more straight version, straightforward version that we've actually used. So you remember the patient sits is relaxed and sits comfortably, arm at heart height, and the cuff is wrapped over around the upper arm. The inner tube on the inner arm there of the cuff. So switch on the equipment, wait for the zero value, and then the cuff is inflated high enough so that the blood supply is cut off and then pushing the relevant blood buttons we get two values top one for the systole value and the bottom for the diastole the manual version of the sphygmo manometer involves the stethoscope so again the patient is re relaxed and sitting comfortably arm again at heart, heart height So again the cuff is wrapped around the upper arm but this time the stethoscope is placed just under the cuff. Again it's inflated to cut off the uh, blood supply and through the uh, stethoscope no sound is heard. That's because there's no blood flow through the, um, the artery. So no pulse sounds heard. Then the air is allowed to escape, releasing the pressure until the blood is just beginning to 
flow into the artery and the first sounds of blood spurting through the constricted artery is heard and that's the systolic blood pressure. So further deflation of the cuff until the sound of the blood flow completely disappears and the blood flows freely. That's the diastole. Diastole number 